Happy Halloween to everybody on Rosie the Rascal 15's channel. It is I. Rosie! Hey everybody, what's up? Rosie the Rascal 15 and today I'm going to be reviewing a classic 1980's horror film. Uh, I'm going to be talking about, of course, as you can see by my shirt, and if you read the, you know, the title, that's right, there's Ash from the Evil Dead series. I'm going to be talking about The Evil Dead, the original, the classic 1981 low-budget horror film. Directed by Sam Raimi, it came out in 1981, again, was made on a shoestring budget of $300,000, and this movie's recently got in a 4K transfer, and, you know, a lot of people are talking about rumors saying there might be another Evil Dead project, and it'd be pretty cool if we see another Evil Dead project, and fingers crossed, maybe we'll get Ash in Mortal Kombat 11 like we were supposed to, but anyways, that's, a, that's another discussion for another day. So I'm going to be talking about the Evil Dead film, the first one, and I'll give you my thoughts on the other uh, Evil Dead movies, uh, even including the remake. Uh, but for now, we're just going to talk about the classic film Sam Raimi directed, and all I have to say is right now, if you haven't seen the Evil Dead, or you're in the month of October and you're kind of binging horror films, this is one you definitely don't want to skip. The original Evil Dead is a very, very well-made, low-budget film. And keep in mind, it is made on a very low budget. So before I get into the positives with why I love this film, because I do love this film, but I have to admit, there are some things that are, you know, there, there's some issues with the film that I, I can't gloss over, even though I'm a big fan of the series. There's some stuff this movie series does that I, 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 I gotta admit, it's got some flaws, but we'll get into them later. For now, I just want to talk about the plot of The Evil Dead. So The Evil Dead is about just some kids going to a cabin because they just want to go there to have fun, you know, possibly just, you know, be romantic with one another, interact. You know, things kids did back in the early 80s, you know, just go to cabins and socialize. Because if this movie was made nowadays, I'm pretty sure it would just be a bunch of kids just, you know, sending each other text messages and talking about their Snapchats and, you know, what's trending on Facebook. But I digress. That would have been the equivalent of it if it was made today. Anyways, so the movie stars Bruce Campbell, which, uh, again, the, this actor needs no introduction. This was his first film he came out in, and again, Bruce Campbell is probably a very well-known actor. You've seen him in a lot of other films. If you ever seen the Spider-Man films, uh, which is also directed by Sam Raimi, I'm talking about the Tobey Maguire ones, uh, he makes cameos in those films because in real life he's actually best friends with the director. Bruce Campbell is a very well, you know, a very funny, you know, all in the performance type of actor. Uh, say what you want about some of his acting. I know he tends to be very over the top and cheesy, but man, is he entertaining to watch. Um, anyways. So, like I said, the plot of the film is that, you know, five kids go to a cabin in the woods and all of a sudden they decide to um, go down in the cellar of the cabin and then they uncover a book. And apparently this book uh, unleashes something evil in the woods and now the whole, you know, group of kids are slowly getting attacked by this evil spirit and it's up for, it's up to Ash, which is, you know, the character in the on my shirt here to stop the evil all right so that's the basic plot of the film uh it's a very simple plot by the way it's like i don't need to go any deeper than that with the plot i mean it's literally just a very straightforward plot kids go to a cabin find a book it's evil unleash the spirit they have to vanquish the evil and survive the night okay really it's not the plot you're watching this film for what you're really watching the evil dead for is the very well made um you know directing um atmosphere, uh, tension, and of course, Bruce Campbell himself. Now, I have to mention one thing about this film. Uh, Bruce Campbell in this film, or I'm just going to call him Ash because that's what he's called in the movie, or he's called Ashley, actually, which is a girl's name. But even with a girl's name, he's still more manlier than you. Um, Ash in the film is not the Ash that everybody thinks of. Uh, Ash in the first Evil Dead is a lot more of a uh, like, he's more of an everyday kind of guy, um, because everybody thinks of Ash, they always think of, you know, like the, him spewing the one-liners and the chainsaw on his hand. That's not the Ash in this film. If anything, the Ash in this film is just, uh, just a, a guy. He's just somebody trying to survive. In the film, he, he kind of acts scared, actually, when he sees 
the spirits possessing his friends, he actually acts more freaked out than anything. <laughs> that seems hilarious, by the way. Anyway, so The Evil Dead, again, I, I don't know what else to say about this film other than it's got very good directing. The camera shots are very well done in the film. Sam Raimi did some really professional shots. Um, I would compare this almost to John Carpenter's Halloween, which came out two years before this film, or three years actually. Not to mention they were both made on the same amount of money. They were both made with $300,000. Um, with, with that film, you know, they all had to focus on like, okay, we have a very small budget. We're using no-name actors. We got to make this film good. So the director ended up making a very memorable film because he cared about the project he was making. You know, very well-made camera shots memorable scares and very good atmosphere and just all around a very fun movie to watch um the evil dead is is a very gory film by the way if you're gonna watch this film and you're kind of queasy i don't recommend if you don't like gore because this is a gory ass film it's very gross i mean probably today or actually not even i was gonna say but by today's standards it's not that violent i mean no there's some scenes in this film that are still kind of gruesome um i watched it with a friend of mine a few days back and even he was cringing at some of the, the like the really gory parts in the film. So that should say something. If it's an old-ass film and it still makes him go like, oh, oh, you know, like, hey, that's a well-made horror film. Anyways, I don't want to get into full spoilers. For those who haven't seen it, um, I really recommend you watch this film. It's very well-made. Um, again, I am going to talk about the flaws. So the flaws I have with this film, it's pretty obvious. Um, like I said, with that small budget, uh, the acting is pretty... It's not great. I'm going to be honest with you. The acting is probably the worst part. It's a lot the same problems with John Carpenter's The Halloween. Uh, the acting, sometimes it's all right, and other times it's downright god-awful. It goes to, like, freaking, uh, you know, Resident Evil 1 from the PS1 days of acting. It's just like, wow, this is this is not even... They're not even trying with the acting here. But hey, we can't take Linda anywhere with a leg like that. We don't even know if there is any other way back besides the bridge. Other than that, and also the special effects, some of the special effects in this film, you know, you can, they're pretty rough. There are uh, there's some effects in the film that they just look terrible. I'm just going to be honest with you, they look terrible. There's parts where you can see the makeup coming off the actors. You can see the strings in the background. You can see the holes that they're using to pump the, the blood. You can see, like, the stunt double. Yeah, there's a lot of common mistakes like that. But that adds to the film, in my opinion. You kind of appreciate the cheesy effects because it kind of works with the film's tone, so it's not as bad as you think. You think it would ruin the film, like, oh, God, these effects, oh, God, this acting. But somehow it actually fits the tone of the film because the, for the most part, the film is kind of so crazy. It has no rules. It's so weird and random and eerie. And like I said, it's just a, an oddball of a horror film that the weird acting... And the questionable effects kind of add to the charm. So in a weird way, it's both a positive and a negative. So... Fight. Again, this movie's great. So if you want a good scare, you want to have a good old fashion horror film that's just uh very fun and it's short too it's only like 80 minutes so if you just want a short disposable really good horror film look no further than the original evil dead and uh i'm gonna give this film an 8.5 out of 10 and that is the reason why i i wanted to give it a 9 but honestly it's kind of cheating because um some of the effects just haven't aged well and then some of the acting but this movie was very well directed and it's very well, you know, shot and the man this the the pure horror in this film is just really well done. Again, it's very well made. The sound wise, music wise, camera shot wise, performance wise, atmosphere wise, this movie was very well directed despite some of the effects and despite some of the really bad acting. I really like this film. It's a really good horror film and like I said, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, my thoughts on the sequels, um, I'm going to go ahead and give Evil Dead 2 um, a 9 out of 10. I think it's actually better than the first film. Although it's not as scary as the first film, it's a lot more uh, well-made. I think it's a lot more, like, they kind of realized what kind of film the Evil Dead was going to be. 
it injected a little more comedy and it's got a lot more action and it's just funnier and in my opinion it's just more memorable than the first one even because that's the version of asher when things of and army of darkness i'm gonna give that one and i know i'm gonna get shit for this i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten i know some of you are like what rosie come on give that like a nine uh, I love Army of Darkness, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely my least favorite of the three because um, it, they went a little too far with some of the comedy, even though um, I love the comedy in Army of Darkness, it's a funny film, the comedy does kind of take away some of the Evil Dead-ish themes from the last two films, and the whole you know Renaissance uh, tone just kind of, in my opinion, changes the movie too much. But I still love Army of Darkness. That movie is very well made and it's funny as hell. So I would have preferred the Evil Dead trilogy to end on a horror note than a funny note, fan funny slash fantasy note. But other than that, that's a great film. And my thoughts on the Evil Dead remake. Um, surprisingly, I really like that film. But unfortunately, it lacks some of the humor, some of the, you know, just some of that tone with the first film. The remake is a very good film, but it's kind of... I'm gonna get shit for this, but it kind of feels like most horror films like it really reminded me of the cabin in the woods Which isn't a good thing. It reminded me a lot of that film And it's not a bad horror film. The Evil Dead remake is good. Honestly, I would give that one like a, a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's a it's a good film, but it's got It's got the problem with today's movies. It just feels like a modern horror film it doesn't really feel like Evil Dead It just feels like somebody imitating evil dead and i don't mean that in a good way but it's still a good horror film so that's my thoughts oh i'm pretty sure you are wondering what my thoughts are on the tv series it's really good i think as a tv series it's really funny and i'm glad they turned the evil dead back into a horror franchise with that tv series i actually think it's a good tv series and i do recommend it and i would give the tv series yeah tv series as a whole probably like an 8.5 out of 10 as well i think that's another great show um, my only, my only complaint is that I wish that they didn't, uh, cancel the show. Unfortunately, they canceled it, so, oh well. Anyways, I'm getting far distracted with the amount of Evil Dead projects, so that's my review for the first Evil Dead. Great film. Go out and check it out, everybody. You're gonna enjoy it, trust me. It's a great horror film. I'll see you guys on the next Rose of the Rascal 15 video, and have a scary time, everybody, and enjoy your Halloween.